Hey everybody, welcome to my first ever No Man's Sky video. This video is being brought to you by a discovery that I made while playing No Man's Sky. And when I made the discovery, I knew that I would have to find a way to share this with the community. It's a discovery that kind of demands being shared, and uh, it just felt wrong to keep it to myself. So here we are. I'm not a YouTube c content creator, and I apologize for the amateur nature of this video, but uh, please bear with me. Um, I made this discovery during the Frontiers update and I have not updated the game on this console simply because I didn't want to risk losing the data. If you're familiar with No Man's Sky and how big the game is, feel free to go to the end of the video and check out the discovery and I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. If you're not familiar with what No Man's Sky is, uh, I'll give you a little bit of background. No Man's Sky is a game of space exploration, and it has the largest playable game area of any game ever created. There's an actual universe within this game that's made up of over 250 galaxies, and each galaxy is home to billions of stars and countless billions of planets. Uh, to explore each and every planet in this game would take a person 585 billion, that's billion with a B, years of their life to see all the game has to show them. Uh, obviously something that could never be done. Another way to put it is that since this game has been released about eight years ago, it's sold over 10 million copies it has literally thousands of players playing it every day and in that time only about one percent of the very first galaxy has been explored so the game is truly massive it's about as close to infinite as you can get and we will never see the entirety of what this game has to offer it's just impossible now as I load up the save in which I made the discovery again this is for people unfamiliar Please pay attention to the names of some of the stars that you will see. Um, we're flying through a galaxy and the game presents galaxies very much like this. Every pinpoint of light is a star that you can travel to, each and every one. And they all have their own unique name, even though the game's only showing us a couple of them here. But you can see that the names are basically nonsense word. The game literally strings together letters and numbers and Roman numerals and hyphens. Uh, just in a nonsensical fashion, just to create a name, um, because it has to do that for 18 quintillion different locations, so uh, it just doesn't have enough words to make up actual names that make sense. Now that'll become important here in a second. Um, on this particular day I was in this space station, and there were only two planets in this system, so I decided to quit racing from star to star and make a quick check of the planets to see if there was anything interesting. I flew out, and the first planet I saw is Unafutia, again an example of a nonsense word and a name made up given to a planet. At least you can pronounce this one. Um, but as I looked at this planet, I didn't see anything worth stopping for, so I quickly decided to look at this planet over here. And that's when I made the discovery. It really stopped me in my tracks at that point, because I'm like, are you serious? Is that the name of this planet? Not just that the name is Jesus, but that it's just Jesus, you know, it's not Jesus with a string of numbers or Roman numerals or hyphens or anything else. The game gave this planet the name Jesus. So that's pretty amazing in and of itself when you look at the names that it commonly gives or generates. But not just that, but what are the odds of finding this planet? I was just overwhelmed with the idea of the possibilities uh, involved in this. And uh, again, it just kind of blew my mind. Um, so of course I've since made a base and my freighter is over there. 
and uh, I want to show you the planet Jesus, but I think I'm going to do that in a different video. There's actually a couple unique qualities to the planet that once I discovered them uh, on the planet, I was like, are you kidding me? The planet is named Jesus, and this is what it's like here. So uh, the planet in and of itself is, is kind of unique. Um, but to show you that the game generated this name, we'll go to the Discoveries page, and there you have it. Everybody that plays this game knows what that white arrow means. It means that I have not altered the name of the, of the planet in any way. That's simply the uh, name that was generated by the game. Um, and I have not changed it. Once you do click on that white arrow, you can't unclick. You're given one chance to change the name or to leave it the same. And regardless of what you do, that white arrow goes away once you upload the name. So, um, yeah, but as you can see, the white arrow is still there. This is not in the Calypso galaxy. Do not go racing off to Calypso looking for Jesus. You will not find Jesus there in Calypso. Um, I'm not sharing the location of this planet because I don't want the planet to be filled up with uh, bases named F. Jesus or... Uh, Long Live Satan or whatever uh, other ridiculous names uh, people would put here. Um, I know Hello Games moderates offensive names, but why ask them to clean up Jesus when we can just keep him clean and safe right here? Everybody can enjoy him and know that he's out there, and, uh, you know, good luck finding him yourself. Um, well, anyways, there you have it, guys. I found Jesus in No Man's Sky, and now you have found him too, and uh, thanks for watching.